welcome to my channel MEP practical knowledge today in this video we will discuss main components of firefighting pump its function and where this install and its advantages watch complete video to get a clear concept of each component this video covers suction components so here we have total six suction components number one fire water tank number two anti vortex plate number three os and y gate valve with tamper switch number four flexible connection number five eccentric reducer and number 6 suction gauge let's start the discussion with the main firefighting water tank water tank design as per system requirement and water always will be reserved for the system for emergency for more detail of water tank follow NF PA 22 standard for water tanks for private fire protection let's discuss what the water tank actually consists of number one you can have water level gauge this water level gauge is used for measuring water level number two we have makeup water or filling water line to fill the tank number three we have discharge line used to discharge water to fire pump number four we have overflow drain this used in case of overflow to be installed outside of the pump room and number five We have test and relief line. This detail we will discuss when we start the discussion for the discharge line. Let's come to number two, anti vortex plate. If you can have a clear look, this is the anti vortex plate assembly. This install inside water tank. Now. Let's discuss when to install anti vortex plate. Where a tank is used as a suction source for a fire pump, the discharge outlet of the tank shall be equipped with an assembly that control vortex flow. Purpose of using anti vortex plate is installed in the suction line only of fire pump to control the turbulence in a flowing meter they are simple in design and very efficient controlling velocity of fluid thus preventing cavitation to fire pump and damage pump impellers the discharge pipe size shall be such that with the pump operating at 150 percent of rated capacity 150% of rated capacity the velocity in the discharge pipe does not exceed 20 feet per second which is 6.1 meter per second let's discuss number three os and y gate valve with tamper switch this is the os and y gate valve you can have a look where the location of OS and get valve in suction line. This is one type of uh, valve used to control water flow to fire sprinkler system is known as OS and Y get valve. OS and Y, what, what is been by OS and Y? Let's discuss in detail. OS and Y valve. What is 
O stand for what is S stand for and what is Y O stand for outside S stand for stem or side stem and Y for yoke or outside screw this you can see outside screw and yoke it's also called OS and Y gate valve operate by opening and closing via a gate this you can have a look this is the gate which lower into or rises out of the valve is open when the thread when the thread stem extend from the valve the valve is closed when the stem is not visible now if you see in this drawing you will see this stem is visible it means the valve is open if the stem is closed maybe you can say the gate is here you cannot find the stem here so it will be on and close now let's discuss point number four flexible connection flexible connection why this flexible connection required this design this flexible connection design to relieve a variety of stresses that can occur within the pumps flexible connector are designed for mechanical equipment to isolate vibration to isolate vibration relief stresses reduce noise observe small movements or you can say pressure pressure pulsation in fire pump operation this is the main reason we use flexible connection now let's discuss point number five eccentric reducer you can have a look on the location of eccentric reducer eccentric reducer is installed before the flexible connection this eccentric reducer are used at the suction side of a pump to ensure that air does not accumulate in the pipe you can have the clear look for what is right and what is wrong suction installation for eccentric and concentric reducer this is the eccentric reducer this is the concentric reducer if concentric reducer are used their upper part allows accumulation of trace amount of air or vapor in the pump section this can lead to creation of gas bubbles near the pump section suction piping design recommendation are listed in ansi slash hi 9.8 shall be referred while designing pump section piping let's come to point number 6 suction gauge which is also known as pressure gauge suction gauge are used to measure pressure on both side of the fire pump you can see this is the pressure gauge suction and at the discharge also during regularly scheduled non flow testing required by nfpa 25 suction gauge requirement the dial is not less than 3.5 inches which equals to 87.5 mm diameter with a nominal 0.25 
inch, which is 6 mm gauge valve. Pressure range. While you make selection for pressure gauge, must be considered at least two times the rated maximum suction pressure of the pump. So guys, this is the main components of the suction line. In our next upcoming video, we will discuss about discharge line main components. You can have a clear vision of uh, suction line. I will just make a recall our six main components. Number one, main firefighting tank. Number two, anti vortex plate. Number three, OS and Y gate valve with tamper switch. Number four, flexible connection. Number five, eccentric reducer. Number six, suction cage. Similarly, we will discuss discharge component in our next upcoming video. So guys, if you like our videos, please like, share and comments and also subscribe.